Unreal Engine 4.27 adds a full lens distortion calibration system, and if you own an Indie Marker Glass Mark lens encoder, you are already set up and ready to go to make full use of this feature. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set everything up. Before we get started, I'm making a few assumptions of things that you have. So you, obviously you'll need an Indie Marker Glass Mark lens encoder, and in this tutorial we're actually going to have two of them, one for focus and one for zoom. I'm going to assume that you've already installed the latest version of the Lonet plugin, you also need some way of getting video into Unreal, so I'm using a Decklink card, but there are numerous ways. And then finally, you'll also need a lens distortion grid. There's a link to one in the description below that you can print out. Make sure you use 100% scaling and then mount it to a flat surface, like a piece of glass or a piece of foam core in this case. Then you'll need to accurately measure the size of the squares, and we'll need that in a second. And then you just mount the grid somewhere like your wall or on a stand. So to get set up, we're gonna need a few things. First of all, I have two IndieMark lens encoders plugged in, and because we're using a live link, we have one of them in the first slot of a camera and one of them in the last slot, and that'll correspond to focus and zoom. If we leave these without any lens maps, then they'll just send the raw encoder values, which in this case is what we want, because Unreal is going to handle all of that for us. We're gonna go into settings, live link, we're going to enable live link, and set which IP we wanna send it on. In this case, I'll just send it on all of them and which port we want to use. In this case, I'll use 20,000, and we'll open that up. And at this point, we should be good to go. All right, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Window, Live Link, and we need to add a low LED Live Link source. And once you've done that, you should see you're getting your data in. Um, remember that the encoders only send data when they're rotating, so you'll need to give one of them a spin in order to get these to show up. The first thing that we're gonna do is get our video input set up. So to do that, I'm just going to create a media bundle, and then I'm gonna create a media texture. In the media bundle, I'm going to create a Blackmagic media source and specify the input that I'm using and all of the settings, of course. And then in the texture, I'm gonna choose the bundle that we just created. At this point, if you drag the media bundle into your scene, um, you should have the option now to uh, request play media and request close media. So you want to hit request play. And then if your camera is turned on, and there we go. Look at that wonderful floor of mine. Here. Step two is going to be to add a cine camera. So we're going to add a cine camera actor. And then we are going to come down here and we need to add a live link component. So live link, just type in live, live. You can add a live link controller here. And what we want to do is we want to add the A cam um, live link source. Once you've done that, now in 4.27 you have this whole camera calibration section. So in a lens file, we're just going to create a new lens file and we're going to call it uh, new lens file. <coughs> Very descriptive. And then if you open that up, we should be able to see here that as I uh, roll the encoder focus, you can see that the raw fizz focus is changing and if I roll the encoder for focal length, uh, the zoom encoder is changing and that's exactly what you want. We'll head on over to the Calibration Steps tab and go into Lens Information. And here I'm going to type in my lens name. Uh, this will be a, a test lens. And I'll type in my serial number. And then head over to the Lens Distortion tab. OK, so now we need to set up our checkerboard. Um, remember that earlier we printed out a checkerboard, so we need to create a representation of that within Unreal. So I'm going to hit this plus icon. That's gonna add a cali camera calibration checkerboard actor into your scene. And since this is a uh, nine by six checkerboard, we'll call this nine rows and six columns. And remember before we measured the size of the squares. So we're just going to type that measurement in now. And remember that this is gonna be in centimeters. Now the next step here is once you have your lens file open, in your scene, you see that it creates its own little composure setup. So what I wanna do is click on the media plate and then I wanna go down to inputs and under inputs, I'm gonna choose the media texture that we created before, just like that. And now you can see that we are getting our live input. Okay, this next step takes like forever. So I'm just gonna voice over as it's fast forwarding. But the idea here is you wanna take captures of your grid at every focus distance at every focal length. So what I'm doing is I'm setting my focal length to the widest and then closest focus. I'm capturing several photos of the grid. I'm moving the focus to the next mark several photos of the grid, so on and so forth, all the way up to infinity. And then I go to the next focal length. I repeat the same process for all the different focus distances. This takes 
a very long time and it just does. And you need to be careful about it because if you mess up, you're gonna get incorrect values. As you're getting shots of the grid, you're gonna be adding it and Unreal will tell you whether or not it is actually acceptable. In order to take a capture in Unreal, you just left click in the viewport. And then once you've accumulated enough captures for a particular focus distance, you just click on add to lens distortion calibration and Unreal will give you an error value. You want an error value of less than one, as low as possible. For every focus distance, you wanna capture as many shots as you can of the grid from as many different angles. Uh, you want the grid to be in the extremities of the lens, in the center of the lens. You're trying to give as much information to the computer as possible to have it build a good profile as to what the lens looks like under those conditions. You'll wind up with several hundred captures, uh, maybe even thousands, depending on how many marks your lens has. In this case though, uh, it's 7.30 in the morning, so I'm just breezing past it and only doing like four or five captures per, but it's good enough for a demonstration purpose for now. Okay, once you've done that, head on over to the Lens File Panel tab and click on Focus. And here we have to tell Unreal what the focus value actually is. So what you wanna do is roll your encoder to the widest focus distance and hit this plus button, and then manually type in under encoder mapping the focus distance in centimeters. Roll your lens to the next mark, hit plus, so on and so forth. For infinity, I'm just typing in uh, 999999. I think a kilometer is good enough. And at this point, we're basically done. As you roll your lens rings, you'll see that the values are changing, the distortion values are updating, everything in real time. The focal length is physically calculated, and everything appears to be working well. 